Looking back up, new TSA data shows March was the busiest month since the pandemic began a year ago. More than 38 million people were screened, and over the past 20 days, more than a million have passed through TSA checkpoints. But those daily numbers are still about a million fewer than what airports saw before COVID-19. Experts say the industry is down, but not out. Jane King explains what the future of air travel may look like in today's Money Matters report. One year into the COVID-19 pandemic and a few months into the vaccine rollout, demand for air travel remains anemic. Globally, passenger traffic was down 72% in January compared to the same period a year ago. That's according to the International Air Transport Association. The IATA warned last month airlines as a group might burn through as much as $95 billion in cash this year, almost double its previous forecast. So what does the future of air travel look like? Well, the former head of United Airlines, Robert Crandell, says the government may establish rules governing maximum seating density on airplanes and minimum service requirements for smaller airports. Expect more technology as well. American Airlines trying to persuade the TSA to allow facial recognition and mobile apps to check in touchless. All this will likely drive up the cost of flying. Also, air industry experts agree business travel has been damaged for good, with Zoom taking a chunk of that. University of Nebraska Associate Professor of Aviation Becky Ludy says airlines probably won't require a COVID vaccine to travel, but international is different. Some countries have already said they will require proof of vaccination to enter. Now, the forecast for an industry comeback is about 2023 or 24. That's to get back to pre-COVID levels of travel. The future still looks strong, though. Boeing is forecasting the need for over 43,000 new aircraft deliveries over the next 20 years. From New York, I'm Jane King.